so today we'll move to a new topic that is forms of government that is fourth unit in civics so we'll see the introduction part now so government is the main agency of a state it comprises of several members belonging to political and administrative wings so we know that government is the main agency of a state and it consists of several members they are belonging to political and administrative wings and then it exercises certain legislative executive and judicial powers based on the constitution and the laws so uh, it formulates it formulates under the three powers they are legislative executive and judicial powers these three organs in government namely legislature executive and judiciary so these are all these three are the main organs of a government to follow the entire activities of a state clear children government are classified into unitary federal parliamentary and presidential form so government is classified into four things they are unitary federal parliamentary and presidential form so in this lesson we are going to learn about these four topics so we'll move to the next page so see here meaning government refers to the executive functions of a state so the term government what is the meaning of government it refers to the executive functions of the state it denotes a body having authority to make and enforce laws applicable to the civil corporate religious academic or other groups so it can make decision or laws on the category of these departments that is civil corporate religious academic and other groups and then types of constitution so constitution is divided into three types so they are written constitution or unwritten constitution and second one is federal or unitary third one is flexible or rigid so we'll see the first topic now that is unitary form of government a unitary system of government or unitary state is a sovereign state governed as a single entity it is nothing but a single entity the powers are under a single entity that is known as unitary form of government the central government is supreme and the administrative divisions exercise only that the central government has delegated to them england france japan and sri lanka are the examples of unitary form of government so in these countries they are following the unitary form of government method that is single entity is following in these four countries the term government is derived from old french word governor so this word government government id edilendu vanduchu governor old french word governor la irundhu in the word eduthirukanga and also it's derived from latin word governor so these two words are the basic to form a this word that is government so what is the meaning of this word is to direct rule guide and govern clear children and the second para in a unitary form of government all the authority and power is vested in a single center so the power is in a dump in a single center whereas in the federal form of government authority and power is distributed between center and constituent unit so in unitary form of government the powers are under a single center but in federal the power is distributed between center and constituent events and then merits of unitary form of government so see the first merit it is suitable for small countries and then the second one there is no conflict for conflict of authority and responsibility no conflict means difference so there will be no difference between the authority and responsibility so see this next page that is page number 267 see the first point unitary form of government will make prompt decisions and take speedy action so in a unitary form of government they can make a fast decisions and then unitary government is less expensive amendments to the constitution are very easy amendment means law law to the constitution are very easy they can easily form any law there there is unity uniformity of law policy and administration so there is a order there will be order to form the policies there and then the demerits of unitary form of government 
it is not suitable for big countries because we cannot implement in a big countries we cannot dump the power under a single person for big countries okay and the second point is the central government will have to tackle so many complex problems that lead to administrative delay so can, they cannot uh, make a fast decisions in the problems because there will be a single power no the power is under a single person no so they cannot make a they cannot solve the problems and then the third point is the central government will not concentrate on local problems local inst local interest and initiative they can't concentrate on local problems why they can't concentrate is the power is dumped in a single person so they can't see the small problems and all okay and then the fourth point is the concentration of powers may pay way for the despotism of the central government despotism is nothing but misuse so powers vandu anga misuse pandrathukku nariya chance irukku ena oruthar kitte powers irukum illaya so naan da vandu inga ella so ena keela da ella irukum appdin solli powers misuse pandrathukku chance irukku so there is a chance of despotism of the central government and then unitary features of indian constitution the first point is strong center so, strong center means strong central government will be there and second point is central government's control over state territory so this state government will be depend on central government and third point is single constitution so there will be a single constitution fourth one is flexibility of the constitution unequal representation of states emergency provisions single citizenship single integrated judiciary all india services appointment of governor by the central government okay so these are all the things and in india which system we are following so we are following neither this uh, unitary form nor this federal form because namm vand rendu me follow pandrom sometimes namm unitary madri follow pandrom sometimes federal madri follow pandrom clear children and then federal form of government a classification of government into unitary and federal is based on the nature of relations between the national and the regional government so so how we are classifying this government into unitary and federal is that is based on the relation between the national and regional government so national regional government kulla relation eppadi irukko adu poruthu da namm vandu government classify pandrom a federal government is one in which powers are divided between the national government and the regional government so here the power is divided between whom between national and regional government so this thing this federal form of government they are following in the following countries that is switzerland australia canada russia and brazil so in these countries they are following the federal form of government and then in a federal model the national government is known as federal government or the central government or the union government so national government ku several names iruk they are federal government central government and union government and also the regional government it is known as state government or the provincial government okay so state government ku rendu names iruk okay and then merits of federal form of government so we will see the merits now reconciliation of local autonomy with national unity so reconciliation abdina so there will be a equal thing between local autonomy and national unity adavad um, keela ullavangalukkum national unity kum vandu or equal irukum okay and division of power between center and states leads to administrative efficiency so powers vandu nama divide panni kuduthrom illa federal la so and then the third point is it gives rise to big states so this can be implemented in big states distribution of powers check the despotism of central government so this misuse will not happen here because the power is distributed no the power is not dumped in a single person so there will be no chance of despotism and then it is more suitable for bigger countries only bigger countries we are using this federal form of government and the last point is it is good for economic and cultural progress and then the demerits of federal form of government what is the first point is federal government is weaker when compared to unitary government federal government da weaker thing ena unitary compare panumbodu okay and the second point is federal government is more expensive we know it is more expensive and third point is provincial tendencies are very common and fourth one is lack of uniformity in administration uniformity irukadu why there is no uniformity means because power is divided no so all alku avangaloda 
ஃபார்மில் வந்து அங்கே போயிட்டுருக்கும் ஸோ லேக் ஆஃப் யூனிஃபார்மிட்டி அண்ட் த்ரெட் டு நேஷ்னல் யூனிட்டை அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்த் பாயிண்ட் அஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் ஆஃப் பவர்ஸ் பிட்வீன் சென்டர் அண்ட் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் லீட்ஸ் டு கான்ஃப்ளிக்ஸ் ஸோ சம்டைம்ஸ் அது வந்து ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் க்ரியேட் பண்ணும் ஸோ தேட் இஸ் லீட்ஸ் டு கான்ஃப்ளிக்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் டபுள் சிட்டிசன்ஷிப் அண்ட் செவன்த் பாயிண்ட் அஸ் ரிஜிட் கான்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் கே நாட் பி மென்டர்ட் ஈஸிலி ஃபார் சேஞ்சிங் நீட்ஸ் ரிஜிட் கான்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் மீன்ஸ் அது வந்து நம்ம ஈஸியாக சேஞ்ச் பண்ண முடியாது ஓகேயா தட் இட்ஸ் அ ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் கான்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் அதாவது இதுதான் அப்படின்னு ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்க ஸோ நம்ம நினச்ச மாதிரி அதை எரேஸ் பண்ணி ஈஸியாக மாற்ற முடியாது ஸோ தட் இஸ் that cannot be mended cannot be easily for changing needs and the last point is the state government sometimes plays hindrances in the foreign policy sometimes plays hindrances abina so if uh, if we want to implement a foreign policy in a state government we want to get permission from the central government or policy nam implement pannano abina nam central government kitta permission vaangano so there will be a hindrances konju problems irukum okay yeah? and then federal features of the indian constitution so what are all the features is dual government written constitution division of powers and supremacy of the constitution and then rigid constitution we know that cannot change easily independent judiciary and bicameralism what do you mean by bicameralism that is two parties two parties are pang illiam so that is federal features of indian constitution so we'll move to the next page so that is page number 268 so see this thing difference between unitary form of government and federal form of government so so what we have seen earlier is given in a tabular column so just give a read so only one level of government or sub unit so only one level will be there here two levels of government mostly single citizenship here dual citizenship sub units cannot operate independently so sub units cannot operate independently because they are under a single control federal units are answerable to central government they have to they are responsibility to answer the central government no division of power here division of power and centralization of power here decentralization of power and then parliamentary form of government modern democratic government are classified into parliamentary and presidential on the basis of nature of relations and nature of relations between the executive and legislative organ so we know so how this government is classifying into parliamentary and presidential so pa- parliamentary avum presidential avum eppadi classify pandrom appadina based on this executive and legislative and then parliamentary system of government is the one in which the executive is responsible so in parliamentary system who is responsible executive is responsible to the legislature for the policies and uh, act ஸோ இந்த பாலிசிஸும் ஆக்டிவ் இது பண்ணுறதுக்கு அவங்க தான் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் அண்ட் தென் தி பார்லிமெண்ட்ரி கவர்மெண்ட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் எஸ் கேபினட் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆர் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆர் வெஸ்ட் மினிஸ்டர் மாடல் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் ஸோ இதுக்கு வந்து வேறு நேம்ஸ் இருக்குது ஸோ வாட் ஆர் தி தி ஆர் கேபினட் கவர்மெண்ட் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் கவர்மெண்ட் வெஸ்ட் மினிஸ்டர் மாடல் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் தி கண்ட்ரி அண்ட் நேம் ஆஃப் பார்லிமெண்ட் ஸோ அங்கே அந்தந்த கண்ட்ரியோட பார்லிமெண்ட்டுக்கு இந்த நேம்ஸ் தான் இருக்கு ஓகேயா அண்ட் தென் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் ஆஃப் பார்லிமெண்ட்ரி ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் ஆல் தி ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் ஸோ நாமினல் அண்ட் ரியல் எக்ஸிக்யூட்டிவ்ஸ் மெஜாரிட்டி பார்ட்டி ரூல் கலெக்டிவ் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி டியூவல் மெம்பர்ஷிப் லீடர்ஷிப் ஆஃப் த பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் அண்ட் தென் சாரி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் நோ அண்ட் நவ் இட்ஸ் மெரிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி பார்லிமெண்ட்ரி ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் harmony between legislature and executive so harmony means there will be a unity there will be unity between this legislature and executive responsible government prevents dictatorship so what do you mean by dictatorship dictatorship na so ipa control namakitta da irukku appdin solittu single entity la nam and problem face pannom illaya sorry unitary form of government la nam and problem face pannom illaya so control avanga kitta irukranaal powers fulla ore edathila dump a irukranaal அவங்க வந்து ஒரு அவங்களால ஒரு அதிகாரம் பண்ண முடியும் இல்லையா ஸோ தேட் இஸ் டிக்டேட்டர்ஷிப் ஸோ ஹியர் வி கேன் ப்ரிவெண்ட் டிஸ் டிக்டேட்டர்ஷிப் இன் தி பார்லிமெண்ட்ரி ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் அண்ட் தென் ஒய்ட் ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் ஒய்ட் ரெப்ரஸன்டேஷன் வில் பி தேர் அண்ட் தென் டிமெரிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பார்லிமெண்ட்ரி ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் அன்ஸ்டேபிள் கவர்மெண்ட் பிகாஸ் இட் கேன் பி டிசர்வ் அட் எனி டைம் ஸோ இட் இஸ் அன்ஸ்டேபிள் கவர்மெண்ட் நோ கண்டினியூட்டி ஆஃப் கண்டினியூட்டி ஆஃப் பாலிசிஸ் கண்டினியூட்டி இருக்காது பிகாஸ் பவர்ஸ் பாலிசிஸ் வந்து எல்லாருக்கும் வந்து பிரித்து கொடுத்துருப்பாங்க இல்லையா ஸோ கண்டினியூட்டி இருக்காது அந்த பாலிசிஸில் டிக்டேட்டர்ஷிப் ஆஃப் தி கேபினட் அண்ட் தென் அகைன்ஸ்ட் செப்பரேஷன் ஆஃப் பவர்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் தி லாஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் த ப்ரெசிடென்ஷியல் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் த ப்ரெசிடென்ஷியல் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் எஸ் நான் பார்லிமெண்ட்ரி ஆர் ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் எக்ஸிக்யூட்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட்
டூ நேம்ஸ் இருக்குது வாட் ஆர் தி நான் பார்லிமெண்ட்ரி அண்ட் எக்ஸிக்யூட்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் பேசிக்கலி பில்ட் ஆன் தி பிரின்சிபல் ஆஃப் செப்பரேஷன் ஆஃப் பவர் அண்ட் இட் ப்ரிவலண்ட் இன் தி USA, Brazil, Russia and Sri Lanka. So in these countries they are following this method. Features of presidential form of government. The president as the head of the state, he occupies a ceremonial position. So president is the head of the state, he occupies the ceremonial position means so avaru vandu irpaar but the avarku keela ullavanga dhaan ella valiyume paapanga so avaru or position la irpaar he is a president and he is in a position but the work will be done by other peoples who are under him okay the president is elected by an electoral college for a fixed tenure of 4 years so he is elected by the electoral college fixed tenure of 4 years means his working period is for 4 years the president governs with the help of a cabinet or a small smaller body called kitchen cabinet so he governs with the help of a cabinet ministers the legislative executive and judicial powers of the government are separated and vested in three independent organs of the government so this powers are separated and then merits of the presidential system of government so the first point is democratic effective control by the president facilitate decision making and state government and we'll see the demerits of presidential system of government can degenerate into dictatorship strain relationship between executive and re- legislature strain relationship na relationship vandu konjam difficult a irukum executive ku legislature ku edaila lack of harmony between legislature and executive so avangaloda relationship e vandu konjam difficult appdinu bodu so adala vandu unity appindrathu irukave irukadhu because rendu perukume konjam problem irukum okay yeah? so lack of unity and then the difference between the parliamentary form of government so this is the second distinguish between so children mark all the questions presidential form of government parliamentary form of government so president is directly elected by the people prime minister is the majority party here president is supreme central legislature is supreme and separation of powers absence of separation of power centralization independent branches independent branches with overlapping functions president he is the head of the state here here also president is the head of the state and president head of the government here prime minister is the head of the government individual leadership collective leadership president is not accountable to congress collective and individual responsibility so that's all children this lesson is completed so mark the questions so the answer for the first question is england and france second question the parliamentary government is also known as cabinet government third one in the parliamentary form of government prime minister is the leader of the majority party and see here in the fill in the blanks so it is name of parliament so we have seen here no USA it's congress norway it's starting and fall getting means it is followed in denmark country and see here so children mark mark all the questions put the page number and mark the questions